I'm Charles Withers, Emeritus Professor of Geography at the University of Edinburgh and Geographer Royal for Scotland. Lyle's notebooks have to be one of the world's great intellectual treasure houses. They contain, in a sense, the emergence of thought of one of the world's leading scientists, one of the world's leading earth scientists, but Lyle is much more than that. Lyle is a leading geologist, was a leading geologist, of course, but he was also a geographer, an antiquarian, an archaeologist. He writes with literary references. He writes with a lawyer-like precision. And he's in touch with very many people whose names, along with Lyle's, inform our understanding of the emergence of 19th century science. So let's take the several senses in which Lyle's notebooks are so crucial. Firstly, we can consider them as a kind of the kind of laboratory thought book almost. This is where he's experimenting with ideas, he's thinking through the implications of his ideas, and we should of course remember that to Lyle and many of his contemporaries, notions of deep time, notions of science as challenging scriptural authority, were really quite troublesome to those uh, to that period and to many of his uh, contemporaries. They troubled scriptural notions of the age of the earth, they troubled scriptural notions of the place of humans within earth history. So these notebooks are, if you like, laboratory thought books, but they're also travel guides. They're a travel guide to where Lyle is going to do his work. They're a travel guide literally to his travels overseas, to North America, in the Mediterranean, in Scandinavia and so on. But it's the travel of his own mind. Where is he heading with these? What are the implications of them? What sorts of things need he prove methodologically, procedurally, to justify the ideas that his principles of geology in particular are beginning to, beginning to show, beginning to develop?